York's most music, most music only on Hot 97. Things that make you go, hmm. Welcome to Men Are Slime. And who's this? Hi, this is Janine. Hi, Janine. Go ahead. Oh, God. Okay, well, my name is Janine, and Kim Lee yes. is the other girl involved in the story, and Michael, my ex-darling, ex-fiance. Okay, I'll make it short. Michael and I broke up um, last year, and then in February we got back together. The whole time he was seeing me and seeing Kim at the same time. Oh. Just to say we found out about each other, and we went through a lot of BS during that time. And it kept going on and on, and Kimberly kept taking him back, and so did, I, so did I. We kept forgiving him, both of us, right up to last week. He came back to me again. He said, I'm not seeing her. I love you. I want to marry you. We're going to, you know, get on with it, the whole bit, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, I find, he kept telling me, don't call her, don't call her. Awful lot of blah, 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 I think. I'm sorry. Like but anyway, <laughs> I called her. I called Kim, and I said, Kim, I just want to know, are you still seeing Michael? She says, yeah, why? I said, well, Kim, he swore me not to call you, but I had to call you and find out because Michael asked me to marry him again. He wants no! to give him a ring back. Make a long story short, we called him on conference call between Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Every conversation she had with him, I was on the phone and vice versa. We caught him telling <laughs> both of us the same exact thing. Both of us, he loved us, both of us, he's going to marry us. Made pumpkin plan pickings with both of us for Sunday. Pumpkin picking. You mean pumpkin picking plans? Pumpkin Easy picking for you to say. Plan. Plan. <laughs> plan. 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 Plan.
Well, we're, 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 use nimble fingers to break in this time, huh? Ooh, that was tough. All right, let's go back. This is 1975? Yeah. Sounds good. Boy, if you remember this, then you are old. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's Carol Douglas and Dr. Zord Nerves on Hot 97. Hi, honey. It's me. I went to see the doctor today. Hot 97 New York's hot mix that still has the scratches on it. That is actual <laughs> vinyl. They, we used to record songs on vinyl in the old days. Remember back then? Yes, sir. Hey, that's Carol Douglas and Dr. Norris. Mm, he used violins. Oh, how would your teeth fell out? <laughs> there, much better. 737, 23 before 8 o'clock. Mostly sunny and warmer today with a high of about 70. Partly cloudy tonight. Mm -mm. Uh, with a low of about 57. Nick Gregory from the Fox 5 Broadcast Center in about 8 minutes. Count them. 8. You can hold me on that. Mm -hmm. In New York right now, 50 degrees at a hot 97. Almost time for Howard's stupid little test pilot. Hey, 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 hey. It's not a pilot. It's not a pilot. It is now a full-fledged feature. I don't think it was picked up. And just for that, we're going to do it right now, okay? Right. Hello, welcome to Women Are Evil. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. Hi, who's this? Jason DePaulo. Okay, Jason, strike back. What happened? What happened? Okay, here's what happened. I was going out with this girl for about six months. She was sort of a high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, actually, we went out for about a year. And uh, what happened is I found out after she went off to college, because I was a year ahead of her, after she went to college in Buffalo, she told, she's telling me she misses me, I should yeah. come up. So here yeah, I get in my broken down old car and drive all the way up to Buffalo Ooh. to see her. And I find out when I get You there, must like her. Yeah, but I did like her. And I Buffalo. get up there and Ooh. I find out that she's been seeing some other guy for a month when I get there. Meanwhile, she's telling me that she's lonely and she wants, she wants to see me to drive all the way up there. So I ended up... Well, what happened to old lover boy? Where, where did he go? Uh, he was around. I actually met the guy, too. All right. <laughs> oh, right. Cool. So How'd you, <laughs> How you meet him? How'd you meet him? I caused a real big scene in the Buffalo University cafeteria. But I ended up driving away and breaking up with her. And a month later, she calls me up crying, saying how much she dumped... He dumped her and how much she wants me back. So... I say, fine, I take her back, and I find out that she's just using me for rides around New York when she comes back. So this woman was mis merely using you as a taxi cab? Pretty much. Why is that? Hire, hire a token. <laughs> you hey, I used to take the train. I live in a story. I used to take this train to Sheep's Head Bay to see her. Well, Why? here's what you do, okay? Uh -huh. We're going to give you the Mr. Stress Mug, the Howard and Stephanie T-shirt, uh -huh. but for her, we're going to give you to give to her the token holder key ring so she can take the damn subway around town, okay? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, see, here, it's a token of my affection. Yeah, really. <laughs> and what is the one lesson that you've learned from all this, sir? Uh, I don't know. Not to drive the buffalo because it killed my car. No, no, it's women are evil, okay? <laughs> women are evil. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill Schultz, Hot 97's commercial production director, with a few words about the Nutrisystem Weight Loss Program.